Just in like the NorCal group chat, North Korea. Nah, I haven't been over there since I moved back. I haven't really been anywhere since I moved back. I've had Como come over here a couple times. Oh yeah, he lives out there now. So. Yeah, he lives oh. in San Jose, so... And he's nice. always super bored on the weekends, so... Sometimes he's still doing, like, like, doctor stuff? When he, like, in school to do that or something? No, Como does, um, like, electrical shit. He's like, um... I thought he was trying to go to school to be a doctor. Nah, he's got, he just got, um, he just bought his own, like, oscilloscope a couple of months back. He's that? been just doing, fucking, it's just some, like, electrical engineering shit. It shows you, like, the voltage and the power and all this stuff. It, it helps you diagnose, like, where something's going on a lot of the time. I mean, it's looking at electrons and shit. Yeah. Big electron fan here. I hate those. Protons can go to hell, but electrons. Yeah, I think I think Como works on like, uh, like he helps make make and test boards for like some military equipment now. I think. Wow. Make good money being an engineer. Yeah, he makes pretty decent money for sure. More than I do, but I don't do shit. So. Oh. I've been just delivering food this year. Money doing yeah, Grubhub and DoorDash. Pretty good money. We gave her like we did a big like DoorDash yeah. last night and we tipped him like twenty seven dollars because oh, hell this, yeah. This, this thing if you can get those big orders, you make some pretty good money. It seems. Yeah, exactly. I I make some good money oh, if I get Can't if I get lucky. The bird. There we go. It seems nice that you can just make your own schedule too. Have yeah, I can I can pretty much work whenever I want. Seems the optimal way to do it is just work like uh, peak hours too. Yeah, you work from like I, I like going from like 2 p.m. to like 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. or something. Probably a good time to do it. The lunch rush is annoying because I, I end up having to deliver to too many people's like work for their lunch. And also, you get bigger orders of the dinner because like the when people order stuff for lunch, it's not really like that much food, so they don't tip a lot. But <laughs> when they when they order dinner, they order with like the family and stuff, so they order more food and they tip more. So the dinner rush is usually better for me. Oh shit. Bird's good. It's pretty good money though. Bird's a bird. I also just enjoy driving, so it's not that bad. Depends where I have to drive, honestly. I like hate driving in cities. Right. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, I grew up over here in Reno, so I like know pretty much where everything is. Yeah, I like where I know how good places to don't need GPS. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotten to the point sometimes where I've delivered to so many areas that I don't even need the GPS anymore. <laughs> oh. oh, what? Sometimes I see the address and it's like, oh, I've, I've either delivered to this house or I know exactly where that street is. Doesn't the app like make you use a GPS or something though? Oh, uh, you don't have to use the, I mean, you know where it is, you don't have to put it in the maps. It's all funny thing the other day, it's like, I got an Uber and my Uber driver went, so you know where you're going? And it's like, what am I paying you for? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've had that issue before on Uber. Like, you, you put in your destination and then they, they pick you up. It's like, so where are we headed? It's like, well, I already, I already told you where we're headed. Apparently, apparently, they don't know when they, like, get a thing, at least on Lyft. Really? Because I, I, when I went to Snowza, uh, it was terrible when I came back. Because, like, like, my bus either didn't show up or I missed it. I'm pretty sure it didn't show up. I don't know. I might have been an idiot. And so, I had to, like, take a lift all the way from, where was it, uh, Anaheim to San Diego. Oh god. And so I was like, whatever, I'll pay this lift because rebooking the flight will be more expensive. Right. And right. The, the first lift showed up, and he was like, oh, I'm not driving all the way out there. Yeah, yeah, like, no way I'm driving out there. <laughs> But thankfully, it just keeps pinging until you give your ride. Because my phone was also on It was a nightmare. And then when I got to San Diego, they canceled my flight while I was on it. 
What? Oh, you were on it? Yeah. Yes. Because well, uh, at least you get the voucher for that, right? I didn't get shit. I got like really? extra food at the airport. I think yeah. they're really supposed to give us hotel ones and they didn't or something. It's like yeah. they're not verified on Twitter and you just make a big deal about it. And you I've, had that, <laughs> I've had that issue before where the flight gets canceled or postponed or something and then they just, they gave me like a... A free night of hotel and a free like gotcha. three hundred dollar voucher or something. It was they gave me a one fifty dollar voucher and I went on the phone and yelled at them till they applied it to the flight I was on. So I like flew for free, but it was a complete nightmare. Right. Yeah, I haven't flown in a while. This was years ago. Yeah. It was terrible. I didn't. It was Frontier, and I wanted to never fly Frontier. Oh God, Frontier! I've flown Frontier so many times. Kind of what you ass. get for getting Frontier, though. Yeah, it's always yeah. ass, but it's so cheap. Everyone complains about like Spirit, but Spirit's fine. But I hear a lot of complaining about Frontier, and it seems like oh, from people in the know Frontier's it's justified. Horrible. Like Spirit is fine if you Frontier, don't have to Frontier, the bag. planes are small. There's like no room. They make you charge. They charge you for almost every fucking bag you have. That's um, spirit. It's pretty similar to that, but yeah, I don't like spirit things. I'm usually fine with flying planes. I don't really care about all the complaints, whatever. I'm fine with it on shorter flights. Like if it's under three hours, I'm fine with Frontier. It doesn't really matter too much to me. I'll be asleep on the plane most of the time anyway. Yeah, I usually don't sleep because the thing was Frontier. Get drunk at the bar and then take a nap on the plane. Oh, big strats. Yeah, that's what I usually do. Because on that Frontier flight, it was from here to Cali, so it was like five or six hours. And I like had to, I had to upgrade on the way back. I couldn't take it. Dude, I, yeah, those those Frontier planes are small. They have no room. Yeah, I brought my laptop and I could not use it. He can't even, yeah. I, I was like arching my head down and the, like the, the screen was on my lap. Yeah. So I just, just want to watch Alien. Gosh, I have like a flight credit for whenever tournaments come back. I mean, the tournaments are back, they're right here, we're watching them. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they never left. Exactly. No. Okay. Break up. Oh, what? I just want to get this Xbox controller notch. God, that's such a crazy thing to think about. Notched <laughs> yeah. Xbox controllers. I know. I have a friend out here that notches like GameCube controllers and makes custom controllers for like a living, so he's just gonna do it for free. I'll probably still give him some weed or some money or something though. Find a pizza. Yeah, I'll still do something. Beef. He's always out here helping the homies for free. He's <laughs> given me like two or three free game beef controllers. Wow. Yeah. What a dog. I lost one at Genesis and then he gave me another one. I lost my controller at Genesis because the fire alarm went off and everyone had to evacuate and I forgot what room I was in. Which Genesis was that? Just this last year or two years ago, or whatever. Oh yeah, shit. Most recent, the most recent one. Wait, did you never go back to your room then? Uh, well, I mean, I wasn't in my room. I was like in somebody else's room, like partying, and then the fire alarm went off, and I was turbo drunk. I had no idea what room I was in. That kind of happened to uh, crop it in. It was me and uh, Eggs, the, this melee player from Oregon. Damn. We were just like getting super drunk, wandering around, and we like, I think he forgot, I think he lost his good boy too. That kinda happened to like Crockett and Three Bears, the boss battle three of the Oh, I, be I believe that. Crockett gets fucking ridiculously drunk. Oh, Crockett I have never, I have never seen a one man drink an entire rack of beer in a night like that. Yeah. Like, he, he will, he will buy a 36 pack to himself. Yeah, and it, that shit's yeah. gone by like 6 or 7 a.m. Yeah, it's kind of... <laughs> it's actually insane. It, it's kind of sad, but yeah. I remember it, it was like that at Apex, like 2015, I want to say. Like, that's so trash. 
And then he didn't sleep, and then he like goes to the tournament the next day, like still like super drunk and tired. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he kind of bare minimum drinks ten beers a day. Oh, uh, it's Man, way better than three beers. Yeah. He's three beers on crack. Ooh. Yeah. Gosh. I haven't seen Croc in a long time. And I like can't, uh, I tried to contact him. And... I haven't seen a lot of you kids a long time, so I barely play this game anymore. I felt like that would help. Later. <laughs> Fox would have lost that grab. Yeah. I don't think I'll contact Croc. Probably Twitch chat. Yeah, I remember probably. when I was in Florida, I didn't understand anything he said because he was so drunk. Yeah, he gets <laughs> he gets really fucked up, dude. He gets to the point where he's like slurring and mumbling, yeah. I didn't understand Tank either. <laughs> I just didn't understand the shit that they were saying. It's just nodding my head. Dude, that's how I that's how I feel with vowels and sex to see when they like it's too late in the night. They just get like so fucked no, up. No, I can I I'm, I'm more on their <laughs> level. Dude, Vowels and, and Sex, With the Vowels last time I went to Canada, Canada, that was the greatest. Uh, Vowels and Sex go, like, some of the hardest. They were, like, yeah. uh, Vowels was trying to, like, fight these people at the bar. He had some weird thing with, like, this the, the lady working the bar. It's just the whole thing. And so we're, like, trying to wrestle him away and, like, take him back to the Airbnb. And I, I'm kind of buzzed at that point, too. We just get an Uber. I'm like, all right, let's go and end this night. And the Uber takes us to Snorlax's place, and we just all fest in the basement. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. I had, like, no idea where we were going. I thought we were going to, like, some shitty Airbnb. <laughs> and it was just a bunch of Smashers already in the basement. Oh, and yeah. then Vowels bought, like, $500 worth of Popeyes. It was, uh, oh. it was an interesting oh, yeah. experience. Me, me, him, and Sex had a very interesting experience last SSC. Yeah, was... I've heard about this, but... So, like, um, we were staying with a player that lived in Virginia, and, um, we didn't know how far he was, so he was, like, uh, he was, like, 40 minutes from the venue, and we were, like, what the hell? We are like, that was our housing situation, so the first night, like, the, no, it was, I'm trying to think, the night after his pool, but anyways, we stayed with him, and we get there, and he has so much acid. He is, he oh, is God. a shit. So much. So much. Like, to wow. the point where, like, Vowels is calling him a dealer, he's like, I'm not a dealer, dude. What, does he have, like, a whole sheet or something? Yeah, pretty much. Multiple yeah. sheets, it seemed like. Oh, shit. And, um, this was, like, 3 a.m., and we were just already really drunk, and we are like, alright, let's take acid now. And I think me, Sex, and who, the friend we were staying with, because it was Vowels' idea, we were like, no, this is a terrible idea, but he somehow peer pressures us all into doing it. So, <laughs> Vowels. Yeah, Vowels and Sex are both really <laughs> doing that. So it was crazy, because he was, to see, it was like, it's 3 a.m., we're not going to be able to sleep, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. But we do it, and Maybe have... a little earlier would have been cool. Yeah, and, um... So we do that, we stay up all night festing and drinking and go to our pools. And just the fun part of it was, uh, I didn't even think we were going to make it to the venue, but we somehow did. I think we had his friend drive, because we were all still dripping. And on the way there, like, a deer runs across the road, and, like, Sex just yells out, Watch out for that fucking gazelle, man! <laughs> it was just a great time. Then we did terrible. Food. I think he just ran over a tiny bus. Yeah, was no one knows that reference. But... No. Me and that bit main hit a deer one time when I was staying with him. Damn, bro. That'll happen in Indiana. I know, the deer just jumped right in front of the car! Yeah, that's fucking stupid here. The deer's on the side of the road, just chilling, and we're driving, he slows down because he sees the deer, and the deer just jumps right in front of us. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> He's trying to collect on insurance. Jumps right in front of us. Thankfully, his car didn't really get too fucked up, though. That's the thing that usually happens, is you, you don't care that you even hit the ammo. It's like, my car is fucked up. Yeah. One of my Reno buddies, he lives in uh, Oregon now, he drove here, must have been like six or eight months ago, and he hit a deer on the way there, and hit the front of his car, which is all kinds of fucked up. Wow. What the hell? 
like a couple months ago or something, uh, I was at my mom's neighborhood, and they were like skinning a deer that I guess somebody just had it. Some real redneck shit. Yeah, I was about to say, that's some Kekona shit right there. Best believe it. Best believe it, Bradley. Man, here in Indiana, feel different. Oh, no. Damn. I'm so glad I don't have to do the 2.55 a.m. beer runs in Indiana anymore. Uh, are they open 24-7 over there? Yeah, Nevada's the... I can go to 7-Eleven and buy hard alcohol 24-7. I remember... It matters when you're, like, nocturnal. Yeah, it matters when I'm up to, like, 5 a.m. every day. <laughs> yeah. It was a nightmare dealing with the no Sunday when I was there for Boston. Oh, dude, they yeah, changed, that, they changed uh, that a couple yeah. years um, through I they, they did, yeah. Now you now can buy alcohol. Seven. It's like noon to eight or noon it's to seven or something on Sunday. Like seven forty-five. Uh, weird yeah, time. There I were remember. multiple times when I lived with Nikita, and it's like, oh shit, I'm out of beer. Oh shit, it's like two fifty-two, and I just get on my skateboard and bomb down to the gas station. <laughs> I think I remember what uh, I did was I prepared for it. Is that game five or what? That was uh, that was game, game five. five.